thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Amen. I say amen, everybody. Amen. I say amen, everybody. Amen. 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 Yes. Father, Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory. There's a home in the sky Far above the big blue horizon Where you continue to fly A place where your spirit never dies This is in farewell I'll see you again Cause good men never die No, they don't know No How do I start to tell the world your story? When death kills the righteous ones, we say it is cruel. The grief keeps agonizing us with the demise of the diseased who had drawn the curtain of life and we become bereft because of the irreplaceable loss. This was how we felt when we heard the news of our dad, uncle, nephew, cousin and business associate Captain Idahosa Wells Okumbo on the 8th of August 2021. Late Captain Hosa Okumbo was a native of Edo State in the southern part of Nigeria. He was born into the family of late Reverend Robert Amos Okumbo, a clergyman, teacher and community leader. At an early age, the late Hosa Okumbo started his primary education at Government Primary School in Benin City. He later proceeded to the Federal Government College, Worry in 1977, where he sat for his senior secondary certificate examination. Upon his graduation, the late Okumbo pursued his desire to become a pilot by studying at the Nigerian Civil Aviation Training Center, Zaria, Kaduna State and became a professional commercial pilot at the age of 21. He also attended Acme School of Aeronautics in Fort Worth, Texas in 1983 where he obtained an airline transport pilot license. Late Hosa Okumba was an accomplished philanthropist. He saw opportunity in adversity from an early age in life by carving a niche for himself to become one of Nigeria's most outstanding businessmen. He was a distinguished entrepreneur that was embodied with hard work, perseverance and the acumen of greatness that bound with his Edo heritage. Wherever the late Okumbo went, you would always see him smiling and inspiring people with his words of wisdom. He was indeed a mixer of words. He was also an affable man to thousands of Edo sons and daughters and beyond because of his benevolence. His generosity and capacity for empathy knew no bounds. He was truly a man of peace with an unlimited ability to forgive and love compassionately even to the detriment of his own time and resources. However, his humanitarian gesture is second to none because he was the most celebrated benefactor in Edo State before his passage. He retired as a commercial pilot at the age of 30 and embraced entrepreneurship in the late 1980s and became a business tycoon. Captain Hosa began to traverse many sectors of the economy, deploying the force of his enthusiastic mind to interrogate the essential environment in his relentless longing to identify problems and proffer solutions through delivery of goods and services that are usually exclusive. This dogged mindset empowers the success story of his flagship company, Ocean Marine Solutions Limited, that is into the provision of marine security and logistics. The multi-billionaire five-star hospitality icon, Wells Carlton Hotel and Apartments in Asokura, Abuja, Wells Bakery, the biggest and most successful greenhouse farm in West Africa, known as Wells Hosa Greenhouse Farms in Benin, Gyro Air and Fever TV in Canada. 
He is the first Nigerian to own shares in Westminster UK and also brought the franchise to Nigeria with the establishment of Westminster Security Nigeria Limited. He single-handedly sponsored the Nollywood Hollywood movie Black November to tell the story of oil exploration in the Niger Delta. He owns the Wells Entertainment which promotes our culture, music and movies, especially in Nollywood to the rest of the world through his joint venture in Fever TV Canada. Captain was named by Africa Forbes magazine last year as Businessman of the Year 2020. Former American President John F. Kennedy once said, Ask what you can give your country. Ask not what your country can give to you. Captain Dr. Idahosa Wells Okumbo, JP, was a dedicated giver, incurable giver, and an addicted giver to the cause of humanity and been a source of blessings to many in Edo State, Nigeria, and the rest of the world. Thus, death doesn't go with the memory of good people. It leaves the memories behind to linger and these memories keep us thanking God for the life well spent for late Hosa Okumbo who was honored with the prestigious Global Peace Award in Geneva, Switzerland by His Excellency Robert Bloom in recognition of his efforts in global peace and business innovation on September 21, 2019. He was bestowed with the prestigious Order of Lafayette Award at the United Nations Day for Global Peace. The Order of Lafayette is a patriotic, hereditary, non-partisan and fraternal organization established in New York in 1958 by Colonel Halmington Fish III, 1888-1991. to 1991. Cappy, as he's fondly called by friends in March 2017, he received Businessman of the Year Award at the 2016 Vanguard Personality of the Year Awards. Okumbo received the African Titans Awards in 2012 from the Congress of the United States in collaboration with the African Society Summit in recognition of his strides on behalf of Africa in the international arena. For the past 12 years, his company, OMSL Tankers Limited, has supported in raising the level of oil production in Nigeria and its sustenance by providing dedicated and efficient security solutions for offshore production assets of the major international oil companies operating in the country. He was chairman, deputy chairman and member of board to many blue chip companies and a key investor in Ibado Electricity Distribution Company, IBEDC. According to an Anglo-American poet, W. H. Auden, in one of his popular poem, Funeral Blues, the poet wrote, He was my north, my south, my east and west, my walking week and my Saturday rest, my moon, my midnight, my talk and my song. In an inseparable reference, this was what late Hosa Okumbo was all about. He was everything to people. His charisma and his demeanor was eminently different because of the way he reacted to people around him. Lastly, he was survived by his delectable wife, children and grandchildren. He died at the age of 63 in London. In our eyes, he had lived. So in his memory, let us continue to keep a reminiscent about him. Adieu, the Iroko of many forests. You will be sorely missed. Good night, Papa. Hear what some of his friends, workers and business associates say about the times and life of Captain Dr. Idausa Wells Okumbo JP. My good friend, Captain Dr. Idausa Wells Okumbo, who passed on to eternal glory on that fateful August 8, 2021. Captain Okumbo was a great entrepreneur who contributed greatly to the growth of our nation through his hard work, discipline, and perseverance. I didn't know him too early in his life, but I got to know him what I, when I get into politics. That is the beginning of our relationship. From humble beginning, he ascended the heights of entrepreneurship and firmly established himself as a great force in aviation, real estate, agriculture, and oil and gas from where he trusts many lives. With all his achievements as a successful businessman, Captain Hosea remained a humble man and never lost his humanity. His love for people was evident in his philanthropy and in the several causes he championed over the course of his life. He will indeed be missed by many, not only in his community, but many across the nation, including me, because of the impactful friendship and relationships he cultivated while alive. May God Almighty grant his soul eternal rest and bless his family with the fortitude to bear the loss. May you all be comforted. We, we met 
I would say we met in the airport. Him being the pilot, and uh, as youngsters then, uh, we became friends. But we became friendly through someone who was also a pilot, who was close to me. And uh, uh, since then, which is over 30 years ago, uh, since then we've been uh, brothers, friends, and our, our relationship had grown stronger, much stronger from friends to, to, bro to brothers. One, one thing I would want to say about him, which I noticed very well, is uh, thing for perfection. I had always wanted to do things correctly, things properly, things right. Uh, may God, in his infinite mercy, multiply the blessing he has given him. Uh, may, he, may he multiply it for whatever he has left, and may he multiply it for his own children also, so that they also will leave uh, a legacy uh, even better than his own. My God Almighty Spirit. Well, I, I met um, later Captain Hossa uh, sometime in 1986. From the time I met him till today, I never found anybody to say that uh, Captain Hossa did A or B or C to him, no. If Captain Hossa came to me here ten times, ten times he will be only problem of people he wants to help. He'll bring him to uh, you must help this man. His life is full of um, standing for people, trying to help people. Um, Captain Hossa like, always like his personal problem to himself, but other pro people's problem will be on his heart. It's, uh, it's a great loss to the nation. My husband is a kind-hearted working man, very generous man, extremely generous. And um, he loved this family so much. He really loved his family without no reservation. And a very dependable icon. Too, too many good times, memorable times. Uh, we share very good one with you. That yielded a beautiful result. That was when I traveled. We went on a cruise. We went to Disney World first in Miami. That's in Florida, Orlando. Um, we went to Palm Beach in Miami, then we went on a one-week cruise, and guess what happened? That's where I made the twins, Ryan. My husband was uh, my confidence, my lover, my friend, my father. He was everything to me. My shield, my crown. He was he's a very good man, very wonderful man. Hard. Captain was generous, Captain was human, he was kind and humbled. My relationship with Captain started in 1995-96. I lived with him and as far as my relationship with him was concerned and all other relationships, he had no boundaries. Captain will not look at you based on your tribe. Captain will not look at you based on your religion. Captain wouldn't look and deal with you based on where you come from. In fact, Captain will not even look at you and deal with you based on your conduct. He deals with you, relates with you as a human being. Captain was unique in so many respects. And uh, he was one of the few who believed that Edo can and should benefit from good governance. But Captain is also somebody who can be very frank. When he's angry, he will tell you to your face what you've done wrong and why he's disappointed about what you've done. But the next minute, Captain Usa will be, you know, smiling and whatever he thinks you need, not what you will even ask him. In my trip, dude, I said, you know, it's like our people say that when a tree is afraid, he tries to grow under Iroko tree to provide the shield and the protection. That is what Captain was to, to all of us. Captain was there for all. When something is too good, God will call it that thing. Mm. Captain was humanity personified. Captain was humility personified. Captain was generosity personified. When I say humanity, it was everything good in a human being. See?
good man. Captain had excellent disposition. He dominated the air, the air. He dominated the sea. He dominated land. At the same time, Captain was truth personified. Um, Captain was uh, was a very great friend of mine. He's a very humble man. I've never seen a hard working man like Captain. Captain walk around the clock. And I wish he, 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 he was spared to enjoy, enjoy that, the hard work. But we cannot query God. God knows why. Cap Captain is all around. He's a, he's a philanthropy. He empowered the less privileged. He take care of the old. He take care of the sick. In fact, Captain is all around. Helping everybody. It's a selfless human being I've never seen. Captain Osa, he operated at several levels. And Captain Osa had his feet on the ground. And at the same time, he had his eyes towards the stars. And I respected and admired him for that. He was a person who was very loyal. He was a fighter. He knew where he stood. Let me start by saying his loss is irreparable. Capi's death is a big loss to us as a state, as a people, as a do people. Uh, this whole life is all about, sir. You know, as a good friend, it's hard to find. But when you find one, you understand that. When you do have, you, will, you know, thank God for you. But guess what? Bad friends, when you have, he's jealous. When you don't have, guess what? He gossip you. Guess what, brother? You are blessed. You have conquered. Yeah, like you have also conquered the land, sir. Agriculture-wise, you have. So I'm saying this, I want to thank you. Yeah. Captain Oza Wes Okumbo was an extraordinary person, you know. Captain has touched lives. He's not the kind of person that kept his words to himself. He, he took delight in touching lives and helping others. He just loved to help people. In every year, 100 years, God usually plays an individual like Captain in a generation. He conquered the air, he conquered the sea, and he conquered the land. And he was a sense of inspiration to our generation, yet he was extremely humble and he has a heart of giving. To me, he's a hero and he will be remembered as an angel of Jesus Christ here on earth. I met Captain Osa in the early 80s when he was uh, a pilot with uh, Intercontinental Airlines. While I was a flight attendant with uh, Nigeria Airways, our path crossed and right from there we became friends. He was a hard working man. He does not accept failure. A very, very gentle, humble, generous to a fault. He is someone who easily forgives. Captain Osa is one of the nicest men I've met in my life. He actually had a lot of impact in my life, my business. Captain Osa is the main reason why my business is standing today, my car business. I've not met anybody as nice as Captain Osa. If there's one thing I've loved around Captain that I cannot take away from him, is, is integrity when dealing with people. The umbrella that is covering us, Captain was like a father to me. I will miss everything about fatherhood. Captain Dahosa is a, is a man of integrity. He's a man that, you know, if he say yes, that's his yes. He doesn't, he doesn't compromise. I'm very happy to work with him. I work with him day in, day out. You know, before you wake up, you know, the first person I will see is me. So, and me, myself, when I wake up, the first person I will see is Captain Idahosa West Okumbo. You know, I miss him a lot in the sense that majority of the time, once before, once I wake up, I know that something is missing. The death of Captain Idahosa is still a shock to me. Everybody can testify. You can't come across Kaptulosa and don't have a good memory about him. I call him my destiny. He's very supportive. Um, there is nothing that you want to succeed that he wouldn't give you. So I would describe Captain as 
an enigma yet a father so i mean it's a rare combination to find someone with such authority and um power to so to say but to have such grace um as a father so that's how i'll describe him in all my encounters with him i can only remember him for good I can only remember him to be a humble man, unassuming man, sincere person, truthful person, dependable person. And this is the way I will always remember him. Captain Osa is like um, a family member, it's like my father. He was like my father and my mentor. I am very sad. Um, it's one death that I've refused to let go. I've, I've been mourning him since he passed and I still mourn him and even after he is buried, I'll mourn him for a very long time. Atinosa is a different human being. Atinosa is... There are plenty of names we call him. Plenty of names. Plenty of names. Plenty names. You can't meet Atinosa and your life is the same. Not just only by material things, but only in his intellectual, also in his intellectual capacity. Captain, you bring a business idea to hear an advice. Once he's done talking to you, your mind is way open. Your mind is, you will, you will see it way from different angles that you never thought of it. Captain was a man that bore no grudges. Was a man that Get upset, back, shout. But in the next five, ten minutes, he's smiling with the same person. He's forgiven, he's forgotten, he's moved on. He was a wonderful man. Even his status in life, Captain was never afraid to say, Oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Captain Usa was extremely great man, he was extremely good. Uh, whenever he patronizes you, he do so to empower you the more. Captain Osa was a dedicated giver, uh, an addicted giver, an incurable giver. You know, he gives not because um, he wants to show for, but just to make sure that you are well uh, comforted, you are well protected, you are well patronized. He just want a young man to do good in life, so I will miss him a lot. I love Rose, but he always says he loves me so much. What I miss most about him, he buys me toys, and whenever I come to his house and when I tell him to buy me a toy, he will always buy me a toy. Thank you, Santa, for buying me so many My father is a devoted father, a responsible man, a man with integrity, a man that showcased um, the greatest of virtues, which is service to, to God and service to humanity, a man with a great heart, um, and who allowed his heart to be used by God for the service of the greater good. Um, when I first went to boarding school in Nigeria, and I'm not going to disclose the boarding school so that they don't get a bad reputation. <laughs> when I first went to boarding school in Nigeria, he came to visit me about maybe about a month after I started boarding school. So I was about 12 at that time. And he came to visit me and I looked absolutely emaciated. I was so skinny. Um, and upon seeing me, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess it was almost like a visiting day of sorts. So everybody, everybody else's parents was around and, you know, all the, the other students were around. And upon seeing me, my dad almost started crying. He said, Fie, Fie, what happened to you? What happened to you? Fie, oh my God, you're so slim. What happened? And I, 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 I had to, you know, I had just, I had just um, started school and I was a junior. So I didn't want to lose my rep. You know, I, like, I couldn't have a I couldn't have a father 
crying in front of everybody. So I, I kept saying, Daddy, chill, 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 chill. Don't shout. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and um, he just couldn't, he couldn't contain himself to see that his daughter was a shadow of what she was, you know, um, when he had brought her in. And that was the level of care. I mean, uh, uh, not up to a few days after that, he called them to take me home and he fed me fat and made sure I was fine before he released me back into school. And um, this is just the this is just the the man that he was, the father that he was. He cared for us with everything that he had, um, and, and that that's one of my memory memories, one of my very fun memories. About my brother, I tell you is somebody I've known all my life. If there's one person I know that has integrity, he's the one, you know, when he tells you something, you can run with it. His word is like a pillar. You don't need to follow up on it. He doesn't joke with his words at all. You know, he had a spirit of excellence, a man with a large heart, forgiving spirit. In fact, there is no words enough to describe his magnanimity. He's somebody that you know you you run to with any problem you have beyond just he has the heart to listen. He has the heart to act. It's not everybody that has that. He gave everyone that crosses his path a part of himself. He shared a part of himself with everybody. He's a man of many 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 attributes i can continue i can start to name it over and over again but the bottom line is my brother was a very very good man he did all he did for people both family friends even strangers that he didn't even know that he's meeting for the first time he changed lives i know how many calls i got after his transition People telling me, how would I continue my life? How would I pay school fees? How will my children eat? How will this? How will I pay my rent? How will I do this? Crying and wailing because he's been there for all of them continuously. Life-changing help, not just uh, the help of uh, giving someone a fish, but basically teaching them to fish, setting them in a position where they can lift up their families going forward. I remember him for everything that I cannot even describe here. You know, come to think of it, growing up, I got to know he was the immediate senior brother to me. And of course, with uh, the eldest brother, Dr. T, so I always looked forward to them as my big brothers. Okay, protected me and was always selfless in everything. I'm not surprised that uh, what he became in life, because right from when he didn't even have anything, he has always been selfless. He has always put himself, you know, last before any other person. He's always happy to see your problem solved. He's, he never lived for himself. Captain never lived for himself, and he could never ever be happy seeing somebody that is sad around him. Whatever it took him to make somebody happy. I will make you happy.